A pleasant good morning to you. God is so good. Uh, and I pause to encourage medical staff all over the world for the good job that you are doing. Continue doing it, trusting God for his protection. Uh, today, I deal with sickness. Uh, Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 24 says, uh, Pleasant words are as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Uh, so the next time you get ill, please remember uh, that there are individuals in the medical staff, doctors and nurses. These are human beings. You must give them a word of commendation. Uh, give them a thank you. Say something nice about them. Uh, the text says that it's health to the bones. And let me swing it around. You who are on medical staff, remember as you minister treatment uh, to and counsel to persons who are ill, please remember, do it with a smile and with a word of encouragement. It will help somebody to heal better. Now, I visit the hospital ever so often, not so often in recent times, uh, but I see some things happening when people come to visit. And it is as if individuals don't understand what visiting the sick is, whether it's visiting them at home or visiting them at the hospital. I want to give some guidelines. I want to help somebody because many times people have good intentions, but they don't understand how to deal with visiting a sick. So let me, let me, let me, and it will be jumbled up, but you must go back. If you're doing hospital visits or if you're visiting ill people at home, you must go back and think through and recheck what I'm saying. One, if it's more than one of you going to visit like a home where a sick person is, you must select one person to be the leader and the rest of you must take instructions from that person. Uh, then you must allow the person who you are going to visit their privacy. Yes, allow them the privacy. Meaning, don't rush into that room or wherever they are. You must wait until you are invited in. Allow them. Uh, then there are some questions you dare not ask a sick person. Like, what happened to you? Why are you in this hospital? No, no, no. There are some questions don't ask sick people. Let them tell you if they want to. So if you visit them for four months and they never tell you what is wrong with them, that is their right. Leave them alone. Uh, then, if you alone going to visit somebody of the opposite sex, uh, be careful and listen to this now. The better way for me as a male to visit a female is for me to ask especially for a female companion to accompany me. Yes, it's, it's a good practice. It will not happen all the time, but it is a good practice for two of you to go. Uh, then, uh, pray and think. Some patients can make a joke, you know. Now, pray and think. Some patients can make a joke about their condition. And when they make that joke, they expect you to laugh. Strange, eh? Yes. A person may be sick, lying on a hospital bed, and they will make a joke about their condition, and they expect you to laugh. Uh, then, uh, you, must, uh, you must allow the individual to tell you what they want you to pray for. I visited a man once, and he said, Pass, don't pray for me to get better. The man didn't want to get better. So you must ask individuals uh, what, uh, what uh, they want you to pray for. Uh, then, uh, then also, help to show persons, other individuals, uh, help to show the sick person sometimes. God is going to give you discernment for this. Help to show the sick person who you are visiting, how they can minister to those who come. I visited a young fellow once in hospital and the man has all these magazines there and he's giving out to individuals while he's in hospital. Yes. Uh, then, uh, then further, try to avoid telling the sick person 
a negative story, a story of gloom and doom. Try to avoid doing that. Uh, be sensitive, uh, be sensitive. And ask the person's permission, uh, ask the person's permission to give their name to other prayer groups so that uh, the other prayer groups can pray for them. Some people will not give you the entire name. They just give you the first name. Allow them, allow them that. And pray with the person. And remember, sometimes, if you pray too long and several of you pray too long, sometimes the person just waiting uh, for you to stop praying so that they can cover up and go back to bed. You must be sensitive. You hear me bringing that word out all the time. Be sensitive to the sick person. Uh, they, listen, sometimes based on the medication a person is taking, they want to sleep. They want to sleep. They want you to go and they want, uh, they want to sleep. But on the other hand, I was in the hospital. On the other hand, sometimes you have slept and you're just happy for people to stay as long as possible with you. So you have to be sensitive. Uh, as you continue to do your visits, remember, apart from all that you do, discover whether or not the individual has made it right with God and help them to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior if they have not done that because two things may happen to an individual when they are ill either they get better or they die you do not want to be a friend of that person and they die and they have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior father somebody is not well it could be a member of the medical staff. It could be my nurse friend who has a cast on her leg right now. And sometimes things not going right with her. I ask, oh God, that you encourage the persons who are ill, even medical staff, and help and heal them, I pray. We who are visiting, give us the correct method that will not rub wrong against individuals who we are visiting. Help us to be sensitive. Guide us throughout the day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you. Oh.